Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Server Gyan. Within this video we are going to see that how to create docker image and what docker image is and what are component of it. So first of all let us try to understand that we have to write a docker file first of all. Now this is a doc, uh, interview question as well that so many people keep on asking that what is docker file. So keep this thing in mind docker file is a software configuration where it is written that how your container will behave once it is created and all the software components which are supposed to be installed within it you have to define within your docker file okay so first of all we have to define a base image for example you can define alpine ubuntu busybox or any other image whatever you feel comfortable with then after what command you will run for example if you are going to install ubuntu image and you want that one additional package should also be there for example you want vim to be there for example you want any other additional package to be there so you can define as a run command then after you will have to specify that what command will be executed at the time of startup of that container for example you are going to run nginx container so at least you will have to define that nginx should be started once you are going to run a command docker run nginx so this is how you are going to define and this is the flow of your docker image creation that how you can build your image once your image is built so as till now we have been running the command docker and then a hyphen it and image then we are going to run a command so that this is the process which we are discussing as of now that how to create this image which is a build image and that is executable as well so this is it for this video guys we will see next video that how to uh, run or how to build an image keep this thing in mind that the the flow which we are talking about first of all we have to write a docker file docker file is handed over to docker client docker client will obviously communicate to your uh, docker server all the heavy lifting tasks are supposed to be performed by docker server only docker server will build the image and after that we shall be able to use it so this is how your image is built and keep this thing in mind only a couple of steps are there first of all like what base image you are going to use what command will be installed within this what command you are going to run to install additional packages and programs within your within your image and after that what script will be or what program will be executed at container say startup so this is it for this video guys thank you very much have a good time thank you